Hello everyone, Jay Mars 290 here, and today I'm going to be doing some work on my server. So I'm just going to be working in and around the server at the moment. So we've got uh, things on the swampy coast to, to build. Oh, sorry, to fix. There's some stuff like some crates. I think Swampy 72 wants built on the port, so we'll probably get to that today. And yeah, just general all around server maintenance and building. Uh, maybe do some decorating of our aquarium at the zoo if I got some time. But yeah, so let's get stuck right into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be working on is the Swampy Coaster. So I'm down here in the train tracks at the moment. This is our switchback line in a way. So the minecart comes in here. Hits this detector rail, which then switches this. So it then switches this track over to here. It then hits this detector rail, which is just the track back to the position. Now the issue we're having at the moment is it doesn't seem to be doing that correctly. Um, and it was failing to do that, I think, when I tested it beforehand. So I'll just put these rails down here so that we're not going to have the cart roll away on us. Just put it through here, push it through. So you can see it switches back, but it isn't triggering on the way back through, so this isn't triggering for some reason. Um, I think what I may need to do is redesign the system a bit and actually move the uh, detector rail to the front here. So I want to see if that's going to affect this at all. It's obviously killed the power of that line. So to re-trigger this, let's see if placing this minecart down is going to do it. Okay, so it does work. It's just not doing it fast enough, so that's interesting. Push this up here. And it hasn't got the bounce back on yet. Okay, so we do have to have that line there, I think. But that triggers it okay. Now the only thing I'm worried about is whether it's triggering it too, triggering it too many times. I think I have, yeah, this should retract out the way. So what I'm going to do is trigger this one. Okay. I wonder actually, let's check. Because I think that, that might be causing this issue. Because the pistons can't move outside of a land claim. And if nothing's been claimed here, which it hasn't, so I'd say the land claim has been removed from here for some reason, that's why it's broken. But I do want to try and modify the system just a tad to maybe make it a bit more efficient so that we don't need that system in there. So let's break that. I don't want that there, but I need to put the torch here. Tie that track up. Okay, what else can we do to maybe light that track up without interfering with that block? Okay, let's see. I think if I put. Will that interfere with it? It will. Okay. That's not going to interfere with it. And that lights it up. Look, Luigi Ben joined. He will always say hi in a minute. So he's one of our, I mean, you guys probably seen him on the channel already. Let's see if uh, this works. This can mount to the cart rack still. Yeah, it ain't going to mount to the cart rack. Okay. So the minimum we have to have it is here. Which will still allow us a nice delay anyway. So I'm just actually going to put that like that, which now I know I can do is awesome. So I think our main issue is the fact that that is the fact that the that the detector rail up here um, isn't being stopped from activating. Isn't it? See now it rolls back. 
which is exactly how we want to. I just turn it, click again. So let's grab my golden shovel. And we'll land claim this little area here. Whoops. <laughs> Supposed to uh, right click, not left click. Yeah, I know. I'll just reiterate admin claims again. That one. That one down there. And this should now work properly. But the mine can't go. Maybe I broke it. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Uh, I'll run this forwards. Triggers once. I heard it push. So it's working again. Awesome. So that bit there is fixed. The there was another bit along here that was broken. It's just down here. So this might have a similar issue with pistons and lane claims. So let's have a look. So it's this bit here that drops down and then it normally triggers a piece of string. That's there. Let's see. Because that's got the So part of the problem we were having is it's not bouncing the minecart up like it should. Here and again, I'll just break these down a little. At least break that one so it stops. Okay, so that's interesting. So it's not actually... Ah, uh, that's why it's not working, because this one's not powered. So let's have a look. Let's power this up. And see if we can take a while and it works. And see if it works. Because yeah, last I tested it wasn't, but... It may have changed. Why didn't that work? I didn't put the string there, that's why. Okay, let's, um... Let's test this again. So drop down and then go around the corner and get this. Counts up and it works fine. Awesome. Okay, so that's working out okay. Cool. I'll just leave here. And then come out this tunnel here. Right. So I think I might head over to the aquarium now, and we can start decorating that. And then we'll go and work on the port. So the aquarium is over in our zoo, on my server. Well, I wonder what he is up to at the moment. We'll go check in and say hi to him soon, if he doesn't call us on Discord soon. Or if he doesn't call us on Discord before that. So yeah, we've obviously got frogs and everything here, but this is our aquarium. Uh, we've been doing some work on it lately. So we've got a new axle little pen in here. We haven't got any axle in it yet. Still needs to be decorated. We um we recently had massive aquarium upgrades, so there's a lot of empty space in that. So there's a lot of things to work on and to do, so I guess we get started on that. So I think I'll start working on decorating this massive aquarium in here first. Uh, if you guys want to come check this out for yourselves, you can just jump onto my server, the link to our website where you can find the IPs 
for the server is in the description below. So we'll get the lever. We'll go into our start area. And then to get this main aquarium, we go in here. So we do have turtles in here. There should be dolphins somewhere too, although I cannot see them. They may have despawned. But I, so I'm going to get myself some more coral. I'm just going to search coral. Let's grab some coral. And we'll decorate with more bits of coral. We also have a shipwreck here, which is awesome. Um, I think blue pug is going to come in at some point in time. Actually, I might add some dark hole here, since that pink one is nearby. I think, uh, anyway, I was saying, I think blue pug is going to come in here at some point in time and add even more details to this. Like, really make it look like a proper reef. Stuff like that, but this should do for now. It kind of looks cool. I might put some trailing up this corner here. Might use the horn one for that. So this whole area here is new, including this little cave area down here. So it's really cool. Um, given more space to show off different plants and stuff like that in the aquarium, so that's awesome. Is there a fish in my way? There might be a fish in my way there. There we go. Fish in my way again. The tank has also been uh, raised a bit as well to allow for like um, to allow for deeper and more bigger plants which is awesome to see as well so like it now allows for us to do big towering coral that you see here wow there's a lot of tropical fish in this area I think we might just do that, maybe give it, maybe give it some more down, or maybe another one up here or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Oh, I like that better. Uh, I'll get some, let's go more coral, but in the form of uh, the actual plants themselves. Like the actual, um, yeah, not the blocks, the, uh, Whatever these are called. Just we're aiming for that uh, kind of tropical ocean look. Like, because this is a whole walkthrough thing, you can see we have like different coral in here. And I think I'm going to get some fan coral now. Oops, yes, you yeah. know. No, it's also up to coral. Uh, so like I said, I think Blue Pug is going to come through here at some point in time and maybe even add more to it. So I'm just going through and adding up some colour into different areas uh, where there wasn't much colour beforehand. Because there's all new parts of the tank, so there hasn't been like, too much added to it yet. Uh, I think at one point in time we had bubble columns in here, but they were causing a couple of issues with our fish. So we since have removed them. The other one here. I want it there instead. And see, we can put things on walls and stuff, so we will probably get some more decorations in here as the tank grows. I want to add some of uh, this kelp at the back here too it to grow nice and tall and I just let this stuff naturally grow in the tank so 
So you can see we've got the big tunnel that you can walk through to see everything in the tunnel. Grab some bone meal and then put some more grass around. Make some more seagrass. Make, this, make the pirate ship look a little more. Come up a tad. There we go. I think we'll get add some sea pickles and we'll bring some light to it as well. So every so often you add like maybe two sea pickles somewhere, or we'll add three to three to four sea pickles somewhere. No, I think the two work. Oh, actually, let's get three because there's already two down there. Right, I think that'll do for now. It's looking a little bit more at home. And I'll get Boy Pug to come through later and do some more detailing for it. So you might actually access our proper fish pen. And give that more of the same sort of makeover. So let's go just some coral for this one. I might go some of that. Because we're giving them that tropical tank look as well. A lot of their coral and stuff was sort of removed in their tank renovation. So they had their tank massively expanded. Used to be a little one in the corner here. Now it goes all the way over here. Which obviously is amazing now. We can give these guys some kelp and some seagrass. Stuff there, some of the things they weren't able to have in their previous pen. Uh, just due to the fact that there wasn't room for it. So as you can see like they've had uh, kelp and stuff on the walls before. Not kelp, sorry, a coral growing on the walls before. I make sure to add heaps of interesting colours and textures and shapes and stuff to the ground as well so people don't look at. That's not what I wanted to do, there we go. I'll get some kelp. Kelp, as well as some bone meal to grow some seagrass. And I think we'll also put some sea pickles in here as well. Just to really find the place to be Whoops, there we go. Push that hole. Put some like kelp in certain places around. Around here, yeah, kind of bone mill up some of these places as well. I think that'll do nicely for them. I'll probably get, like I said, I'll probably get um, a little hug to come through and do. A little bit more work. I want to put some water in this just so we don't have that um, look underneath it. So you see, like, well, when you look at it from below, it doesn't produce an air pocket like it's doing around these lights at the moment, which is annoying, but it is because there's an air pocket like right there. If we go take a look at our glow squid camp, you can see that it's pretty dull as well, but there isn't too much to uh. So that might just be some more drain or something in here. Yeah, just gonna get a bit of train like that, I think will work. A bit of variation. I don't think we need seagrass in here. And this will be our cold water tank at some point in time. So we'll have cod and salmon living in here at one point. But I'll head back downstairs. And we can go see what we can do with that axle of a pen and then we'll go build some crates. So as you can see we can see now out to the main aquarium we can see all the work we've sort of got done. So it looks rather nice. Mm. So 
it is night time at the moment. Oh, I can just tell by the amount of mobs around for starters. So now the lights are one of the aquarium. Oh, I so now we're in our soil pens. This will, once filled up, will automatically uh, dispense tropical fish into the axolotl little pen to feed them daily. So let's get some things in here. So you know we're gonna need some grow berries of some description, I think. And what else have we got for the last caves? I know we've definitely got some of those flowers. We do have drip leaves, so I'll take some drip leaves. Oh, what were those flowers called? They're in nature box, I believe. Neat natural blocks. These ones, spore blossoms, that's the one. Wow, I forgot the spore blossoms were a bit there. I might give. So, in their last pen, we actually let these um, berries grow naturally within the conditions and the environment they're placed in. Had different uh, drip leaf sizes and stuff as well growing in the area. So some drip leaves we'd let grow naturally, other things we just planted and placed in. And like a lot of these small drip leaves, we kind of just drip leaves we just kind of placed in. Shit, I might leave it like that. Give this a couple of small blossoms to. We're just sort of giving it that, that, that kind of vibe at the moment. And then I think we'll get Blue Pug to come in. And actually do a better job than what I can at this. He's already said that he'll come in and tidy this up and actually make it look a lot better than what it is. So that's nice to know. Yes, the axolotls will come in here eventually, but I, like I said, I'll get Blue Pug to do it. But that looks alright for now. Right, I think we'll head over now. I'll actually clear my effects. So you see, this is what the aquarium does look like at night. It's rather nice. Um, but yeah, so we got all sorts of animals. So, in here are our polar bears. It's rather dark because it's night time. I might come back check in later and I'll show you guys around the zoo, but there's like everything. We've got pandas, polar bears are there, wolves are just down the back. So yeah, it is a proper zoo and if you come through you can actually learn about the, uh, the animals' real life counterparts. So that's pretty cool. So onto the port now. So this is our port over here. Uh, this is where we have, obviously, all our ships. I'll just open up the roller door. Come through and close the roller door. So, obviously, this is where our players can dock and park all, like, dock all their boats. Um, so, Swampy built this uh, big, like, shipping container, like, a freighter, cargo ship thing here in the water and he wants some cargo to go in it so I think what we might do is I think I might copy like the design of this um, crate up here as well as takes inspiration from some of the smaller ones down here of which I don't know who plays these here it may have been Swampy himself it may have been Blue Pug I'm not 100% sure but yes yeah, so this is our port um, we've already got a couple of Ships, the play some players have built ships and boats and stuff on the server, but it's also home to other littler, smaller, like, player usable boats, shall we say. Um, we've got our statue of Iron Golemy, I guess is what you'd call it, I'm not 100% sure. But it'll eventually ho uh, age over time to copper as well, which is nice. I mean, to like a darker teal kind of colour. As you can see, I think in some places it was at one point. 
as somebody's come through and taken off. Somebody may have come through and cleaned it up, which is annoying if they have. But that's okay. So anyway, uh, back to what we were doing. So I think Swampy at some point is going to actually extend the ship and make it bigger. But we were feeling that this area in here is a little empty and doesn't have enough shipping crates. So I'm actually going to open up both those doors to get some sense of scale on things. To see sort of what we could do and what we can and cannot do for it. I think let's start experimenting on our ideas. So I like the idea of using these beehives and signs. So I think I'll still use a couple of them to make it look like we've got some crates as well. Pull it up in there, like we've got some of the port and stuff as well, but I kind of like the look of these in storage here. I was thinking about building maybe a couple of like shipping containers or something like that to add to the look as well. If you guys have any suggestions, uh, comment down below. I'd be happy to have a look at them later and maybe even add them to our thing. Like add them to our port. I should put something on that side. I might actually go. Let's do it. Let's do a bit of graffiti. Ah, uh, I couldn't help myself. I thought, ah, oh, I keep accidentally typing on these signs. I thought, let's do something appropriate. And see, that's like a, like a really basic crate design that already is sort of looking nice. Uh, I think I want to try doing like some iron or something just in a pile. Or maybe over here, like an, like, a, like an iron crate like that. And maybe, maybe some dark oak signs. Let's have a look how that looks. I'm not sure what this is, but. what this could be. I kind of look at, I kind of like it, sorry, it kind of does look like it'd be something. Yeah, I don't know what that could be, but it kind of looks like it'd be like a crate or something to that effect. You know what I do want to do? Let's take... Let's take some trapdoors. Acacia trapdoors sound good. I want to build like an animal crate. Like, here somewhere. But we want like a floor for it, so maybe let's get some slabs. Let's actually take like acacia slabs. Yeah, acacia slabs is a good idea. Yeah, I like that. And then maybe... Oh, yes. Okay, I like that very much. I think we should make this like maybe two to three high, maybe. I, and I think I know exactly what I'm going to put in this uh, crate here. It's kind of like cage, crate kind of thing here. I kind of want them to match up. I actually want to do this differently. Let's take that off. Let's um, put some blocks like that above it. Because I actually want to have the trap doors um, flip down. So put them like that and they flip down like that so they line up. Yeah, I like that better. Yeah, that looks nicer that way. I think anyway. I think it looks better now that those like the edges of the trap door line up.
You can't build them too high. Um, you can't like build these things too high. Otherwise, it'll get in the way of all the lights and stuff. I have wanted to replace these lights with something else, something maybe a bit more modern. I'm just not sure yet at the moment what to replace it with. Let's get a pig. I want to put a pig in here. I don't need a name tag. I'm going to put a named pig in here. And there should be nearby out here because we're using this rainbows. It's going to be Steve the pig. So put Steve in here. There we go. Steve. I like that. That actually looks really cool. I don't know whether I want to do any more crates or anything like that. Maybe we try doing one with like... No, I don't know those. Trapdoor though for the spruce could be nice. I'll put like a nice spruce center. Oh, some spruce in the middle or something. So it looks like a, another sheet package maybe over here somewhere. Maybe put like another one that's up here ready to be shipped or something. I kind of want to make it like another 3 1 or something like. Here we just cover it in trap doors to give it some more texture. Yeah, this is looking like a. So that kind of looks like a box or a crate or something like that. This is already starting to look kind of nice and nice and full. I might grab a couple of these barrels as well. Maybe put a few like over here closer to the port. Maybe like make it wrap around the edge like that. Oh yeah, I like that. That's cool. That works nicely. Alright, uh, what else can I do? It's very interesting having to try and come up with different designs for things, I think. Let's take some dark oak. And maybe just give ourselves like a small little box and say like Give us a small sort of crate thing. Yeah, I, I kind of like that small little crate. So they're not going to be like right at the other door. And I think a shipping container might be a bit too big for this. Let's see if we can put one in here. Build it just a little lower than what I normally build it, it could probably fit. This is a little, little, uh, this is a little bit lower than what I normally build my shipping containers like. But it only makes sense that, like, at a pool with a big, like, like, cargo truck like that, there'd probably be a shipping container here. Put some iron doors on it, I think. Let's grab some quartz. Just some smooth quartz stairs to add, like, that ridges on it, you know what I mean? So this is a little different to how I normally build them. Normally a lot bigger than this when I build them. But on a miniature scale this kind of works. And in fact, I might actually remove this book here and actually take it and some spruce and maybe some oak. 
and sort of maybe fill this up with like what looks to be like boxes or something like that. I'll just go and leave this, I can put this door open. But like then I think if we just sort of like stack up things like maybe put some uh, oak or something like that in there, maybe some spruce on that. Maybe even throw a barrel or two in here. We can make it look like it's got sort of like it's got things in it. You know, like it like it means business. Throw a barrel in like that. That actually doesn't look too bad. Just so it looks like it's got something in it if you actually look through the doors. If you end up jumping up and looking in, you can see it's got something in it. I kinda like that there. Ooh, what was that noise? Uh, I kind of think that shipping container actually works there, and it takes up a decent amount of space. And the door can still shut freely? Yep, the door can still shut freely, nice. This side is still looking rather bland. Whether we add another shipping container to it and put something else in it, I think we should. But I think we should like put the shipping container up against this back wall here instead. I think. Okay, so we're going to build four from this wall. I might actually build three off from this wall. Two, three, four, five, six. Five, six, seven. So I'll put that those quad stairs in there. Grab that. I should actually replace these with smooth quad with um smooth quad stairs one one stage. I think they would look nicer as a roller door. Be a bit smoother. Add doors at the front, but what I want to do is I want to actually go to some concrete for this. Now let's pick like two or three colors a green, a yellow, and let's go pink as well. So if I had like a green in there, and maybe a yellow here, and throw on a pink there, maybe we can get a purple in here too. Like a darker tone colour, throw like a purple up there or something like that. Yeah, that'll work. Put the roof on this. Yeah, look at that. It actually looks really cool. I think that's almost looking really good. Like even over here, it's looking a lot better now. Uh, I think we might go another one of these crates over there, but just a standard like kind of four setup instead, just to sort of fill up the space. So maybe just here. And kind of do things like this. I think we might add one more crate and then we'll call it. Yeah, I think maybe one one or two more. Let's see how we go. What else can we do? Because I do like this crate, I just don't want too many animals in cages on the port. It's probably going to cause a lot of headaches for me in the long run. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? Hmm. Maybe we just do something like, I don't know, something even as simple as 
Let's put this up here, like it's just a random shipping container. Like a random container or something like that. Let's see how uh, these iron chunk dolls are sitting. Okay, what we can do is we can take them. We'll just give ourselves a debug stick. Um, no, no, don't. Yeah, so there we go. So we can adjust then whether they're open using the debug stick. That looks cool. Maybe we do that, but a bit bigger. Like that, but like almost like a mini shipping container kind of thing. It's like probably here somewhere. Maybe make it three long. And take our doors. Nice. Okay, then we'll run our debug stick along here. I kind of like that. I think it should be two, not three. I think the doors need to be on this side. Looks better. Awesome. I kind of like that. I don't think I should go there. I think I should just go iron doors all the way around, I think. Similar to what we did for... Something like that, I guess. But iron, that actually looks kind of nice. Our shipping containers look really cool. I think I might leave that there for today. Maybe I might recreate this one actually over there as well. Yeah, I think I'll recreate that. I think I might put him here. I might just make him a two as well. Just so it's not like the exact same as the one over there. Uh, I think Sophie, when he extends his ship, I um, probably t recommend him do recommend it to him to do this, because I think he should. Uh, I think he should uh, add some crates and stuff inside the ship as well. But yeah, we'll see how we we'll see what happens. But anyway, guys, uh, I know this is sort of a different type of video to what I uh, normally do. But if you've enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe. If you'd like to see more content like this one, let me know. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.